What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video I'm going to talk about the three different types of silver that you absolutely need to be stacking right now. Let's get into it. SD Bullion is giving away a monster box of 2024 Tree of Life silver coins. Sign up today at sdbullion.com slash sweepstakes. Thank you so much for watching. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, now before we get into these three essential types of physical silver that you need to be stacking i just want to say silver has been recently doing very very well it's up over 20 percent in just two months that's a five plus dollar gain in less than 60 days silver is starting to move it's starting to move very fast and this is actually bringing a lot of new people into the precious metal space gold is at an all-time high silver is finally starting to take off and this is attracting new eyeballs people who've never invested in precious metals before so i want to go over the three different types of silver that i recommend for anyone who wants to be buying physical silver. Now, if you live in the United States of America like me, these are what I call the three pillars of silver stacking. If you live in other parts of the world, perhaps Australia, Great Britain, Canada, you can stack a very similar version to these three pillars and do just fine. Now, as you can see in front of you, I've laid out a nice assortment of different types of silver, and it can be broken down into three different categories. And those categories are as follows. Junk silver, silver coins, generic silver. I'm going to go over the pros and cons for each one of these. But really, if you live in the USA, I think you should be stacking all three. So let's start with junk silver now i just did a video on junk silver so i'm actually not going to do a deep dive into it if you do want to watch that video i'll put a link to it down below in the description but essentially when we talk about junk silver or 90 percent silver constitutional silver as it's sometimes referred to you have your dimes quarters and half dollars that are older than 1965 so they have to be 1964 or older and they will contain 90% silver and 10% copper. Now the benefit to buying these coins is that they do follow the price of silver. So as silver goes up, these coins will become more valuable. The other benefit to buying these is they are small or fractional. They're less than an ounce. So if you ever need to barter with your silver, this would be a good thing to use for barter because you can make smaller transactions. For example, if you have 14 silver dimes, you have one ounce of silver. So you could trade them for food or smaller items. If you only have bigger pieces of silver, it's going to be much harder to barter with them if you ever need to. So that's one advantage to having these coins. Also, the United States Mint is not making these coins anymore. So they are somewhat scarce. They made millions of them, but lots of them have been melted down in the past. So because there's a limited supply of these coins, if they ever become in high demand in the future, the price for these could go up faster than the price for other types of silver. Let's get into silver coins. Now, I actually did a video not too long ago on silver coins, and I talked about my top 10 picks for 2024. If you missed that video, I will put a link to it down below in the description as well. But one of the big benefits to buying silver coins is that the premiums are usually fairly reasonable. Now, when I say premium, I'm talking about how much you actually have to pay over spot price every type of silver will have a different premium and coins will be slightly higher than that of junk silver and generic silver typically this isn't always the case but usually you can expect to pay a little bit more for your silver coins 
However, these are very recognizable. They're also very liquid. It's easy to take these coins into any coin shop across America and sell them. So if you ever need cash and you need to move your silver quickly, silver coins are an easy way you can do that. Some coin shops will value certain coins more than others. So I would recommend getting to know your local coin shop owner and what they prefer. Now, if they really like American Silver Eagles, it might be in your best interest to stack a lot of eagles because when it comes time to sell them, they're going to pay you more for these than for other types of silver. So you should always have an exit strategy. Know where you can and should get rid of your silver if you ever need to. Now, most of us stackers, we don't ever want to sell, but things come up. And the bottom line is silver is money. So if you ever need to tap into it, it'll be nice to have. Each one of these tubes holds 20 American silver eagles. And these coins were actually fairly scarce in 2020, 2021, 2022, because the U.S. Mint was not producing as many of these as they normally do. So premiums actually shot up on American silver eagles. And if I needed to sell silver during that time, I probably would have picked the Silver Eagles simply because I could get more money for these than any other type of silver, really, except for high premium stuff like collectible coins, etc. So it's nice to have a variety in case you ever need to offload. You can pick and choose what you want to offload. Three nines fine silver is an absolute must. Obviously, junk silver is only 90%. Most coins are going to be either three nines fine silver or four nines fine silver. So either way, when you're buying silver coins, as long as you're not paying too crazy of premiums, you'll be doing just fine. Now we get to generic silver. Generic silver will usually be the cheapest silver that you can buy. This is an absolute must for anyone wanting to acquire physical silver because when you pay the lowest premiums, you can simply get more silver for your money. Now within generic silver, you really have two different categories. Those are your silver rounds and your silver bars. Silver rounds will typically be in the one ounce size. The most popular is the Buffalo round here. And there's different versions of the Buffalo round. Many different mints make them. They kind of look like coins, but they have no face value on them. So these aren't made by a government. They're not made by any sovereign nation. So these are just considered generic rounds, even though they look very similar to the coins. Now, the benefit to buying silver rounds is, well, they kind of look like silver coins. Silver rounds are also very trusted, very liquid, very easy to move, and they do have those low premiums. So I would say if you're just starting out, silver rounds are probably the best thing you could be buying. My first, call it 40 ounces of silver, were all silver rounds. This is all I was stacking. In fact, I was stacking them one ounce at a time because that's all I could afford. So whenever I had uh, 16 or 18 bucks back then, I would go down to the coin shop and pick up another silver round. That's a great way to be stacking, and really anyone can do that. Now, there are different types of silver rounds. For example, we have one of the Freedom rounds here from SD Bullion. These are very cool. They've got an eagle on them. We also have cowboy rounds. I mean, there's all sorts of different ones Here's another cool silver round. You can get a nice variety of them, different designs. They're very fun to stack, very fun to handle. So I highly recommend these. Also, silver bars. Silver bars are usually going to be the cheapest silver you can buy because you can buy those larger sizes. And the bigger you get, the lower the premium. This is almost always the case. So a 5-ounce silver bar will have a little bit higher premium than a 10-ounce silver bar. And if you want to spend even less per ounce, you can get kilo silver bars. You can even buy the 100 ounce silver bars. There's lots of different sizes, but usually the sweet spot when it comes to silver bars is going to be your 10 ounce, your 5 ounce, and your 1 ounce because these are going to be a little bit more affordable. Once you start getting into the kilos and 100 ounce bars, not as many people can afford those. So I would say if you want to be buying lots of silver, you want to buy it in bulk, you want to stack heavy, silver bars are probably the best thing for you to be stacking. And when it comes to buying physical silver, 
sure, there's a bunch of different types you can be buying. But at the end of the day, if you're trying to get it for the lowest price possible, you're doing it right. That's what you want to be doing. Finding the types of silver with the lower premiums, not buying the high premium collectible type stuff, because unfortunately that stuff doesn't hold its value as well. All of these different types of silver, they will give you exposure to silver price. And when silver price goes up, the value of these items will go up as well. But my favorite strategy when it comes to buying physical silver is to just buy an assortment. Buy a little bit of everything. Buy some junk silver, some silver coins, some generic silver. And again, when it comes time to sell, you can pick and choose what you want to offload. And if you never have to sell, that's great. More power to you. Stack as much of this as you can. You can pass it down to your kids, pass it down to your grandkids, teach them about real money and the importance of getting some wealth outside of the system, outside of the dollar, outside of the stock market, into something real and tangible that you can actually hold in your hand. So those are the three pillars of silver stacking. If you want to add anything to the conversation, definitely leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons, out.